burst of light, a thunderclap, Annette Oberstadt and Liam Flood. Speed comes in shapes, sizes, and every age. And tonight at the Party Poker European Open 5, when the youngest player in the tournament takes on its elder statesman, they'll share one thing in common. They're the fastest players in the format, in the tournament, and in the game. When twin engines collide, only one thing is sure, sparks will fly. The Nutter, Stuart Rutter, has come sans scarf. He's paid two final tables on the UK tour in the past year, but is still looking to burn his way through a semi-final stage. Christoph Haller is a German cash game specialist who has won $10 million at the poker tables through the years. He's dabbled in this format several times, but is still waiting to break on through to the latter stages of a European Open. I have great confidence today because uh, I just got more and more experience playing this tournament format a couple of times in the last six months and uh, getting uh, better results every time. So, yeah, looking forward to play. The gentleman Liam Flood is Ireland's answer to Tom Jones. He is quite simply a poker legend. He has made more final tables in this format than any other player in poker history and is a former champion of the European Open. The older I've got, the more successful I've been in poker. I never foresaw something like that, but I always dreamt that uh, one day I would win a big tournament, and I have. European Open 3. 20 years old from Norway, Annette Oberstad is the talk of the town. A former WSOP Europe main event winner for a million pounds. She made the final table of this event last year, only her first time in the format. I'm not afraid to look stupid on TV. I'm not afraid of making moves that maybe other people wouldn't make or, you know, doing things that might not look very smart to everyone else. But, you know, I'm just going to play my game and, uh, and hopefully that's going to be enough. Making his first appearance on a televised poker table, this is Paul Bracken from Cork City, Ireland. A professional poker player for five years, Paul broke on through with a 120,000 pound win in Blackpool only last year. Londoner Richard Wheatley is fearsome at the table and mild-mannered off. He recently started playing in TV tournaments like a duck to water. Third in the Poker Open and a $60,000 winner in the Poker Den has given him confidence to burn. This heat is going to be both a privilege and a pleasure. Joined by Irishman Parg Parkinson in the box. And uh, two of the most uh, I think entertaining players in this format, Parg, or extreme perhaps, watching at this table. On one hand, Liam Flood, who, I mean, for all his years, is still the fastest player on this table. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic it's, it's that Liam is still Americans playing so fast at his age. I, I, hope, I, I, hope, I hope I still am, but he's got a marvellous record in this format and, and lives for these tournaments. And is a former champion of this event. But on his left, how about this matchup, Annette Overstadt? Well, I think this is going to be fascinating. I mean, uh, Liam never worried too much about being out of position before. He won't worry about it today, but uh, I think uh, Annette will know Liam's form and be probably ready to bounce all over him. There could be fireworks between these two before it's over. I don't expect to see them heads up. Uh, she and she made the final table of this uh, tournament last year as well. Chips on the table. The yellow chips worth a thousand. Blues are two. Reds are five K apiece. A hundred thousand in front of every seat. And six hundred K in play. Cards about to be in the air and I mean honestly Parg, uh, do you think it's all going to be a bit of bit of bluster that actually the matchup between them is not going to happen or do you think it is definitely going to kick off? I think it probably will. I mean I think this is a fantastic draw. I mean uh, uh, you'd like to think it's fixed but I know it's not but uh, Liam and Annette side by side is uh, I mean, <laughs> something is going to happen I promise you. Pass. Pass. Cool. This pot's already 19,000. I mean, Rudder's got the ace, but he's going to have to trouble playing a flop that doesn't include one. Check. 
And I mean, is Wheatley about to eat him up? Like, uh, I think so. I mean, eleven thousand. Th these guys both being sort of well known on the UK circuit, y you can bet they'll know each other, Parag. Cool. Right? And I mean, if you if you if you're Wheatley here, you kind of gotta start at some point giving Rudder credit for a big pair. But Richard Wheatley might never give him credit Check. for it, or will he? No. <laughs> that was, I guess we'll... Check. Not now, he won't. <laughs> Way ahead is Wheatley. Well, the deuce, the ace, the five. Well, they both managed to keep this spot small enough to... Check. Check. Well, not the silly is going to happen, but it is a... I think it is a sign of what we can expect in this heat. Right. <coughs> Did you show anything? Anything that looks vaguely like no, a start no, hand no, is going to get played in. Play the hand and worry about the position later. <laughs> Let's check, check. Let's just check. You don't have to show that. I'll happily show if I have to. Okay, check, mm. check at the end. He declared a pair. He threw his hands in. He wants to know, does he have yeah. to show We want to know if this is ace two or ace three. Yeah. In this tournament, <laughs> if a player asks to see the other player's cards, he must show. If it's been checked down, okay? Yeah, so you're asking to see the cards, Liam? Yes. Pocket no, jacks, no. I think it was. It's <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> <is> true. Fantastic <laughs> 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 by bad Marty Wilson. That is oh, the yeah. that is the way it's read in the oh, tournament. Oh, unbelievable. And, and I mean, Parry, I, I don't know how he keeps all these yeah. rules in one small head. I'm sorry, it's just such a no, no problem. Yeah. He didn't have to show the cards, but if someone had asked to see them, they would have been entitled to it. There is a, a difference in that part because <laughs> in right. some places it's not considered. Um, uh, it's not considered sportsmanlike to act to see the cards if you weren't in the hand. But in other places... Um, it's considered almost mandatory. <laughs> it's considered almost it's, mandatory. It's, especially if it's going to annoy the guy. <laughs> I don't think it took too much out of Stuart <laughs> Rutter. <there. laughs> I think there's a... We had a general oh. feeling in one of the, in one of the earlier matches that, that if, if, if the hand did indeed involve Gavin, then Gavin the cards were going to get shown. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I he wasn't going to be the one asking. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's limped in here. And the first chance we've seen of Paul Bracken, who's from... Cork City, just inside of Cork. Uh, I mean, and he's is he well known <laughs> on the Irish scene, Park? No. Cool. <laughs> in fact, Fitz and Gavin knew him, but I, I think he's uh, he's probably better known in LA. He's been around. He's been in London for 25 years, but he did tell me earlier he'd spent six months in LA, in the living in the in the Commerce Casino, playing 30-hour sessions and 22-hour sessions, and so he's uh, five thousand. He may not have been playing for forever, but he's, you know, certainly when he's been playing, oh. he's, been, he's been spending all day long doing it. So it was a nice turn card for Annette. I think she started off kind of bluffing, and then obviously the king here, and it's always good to hit your second pair just in case by some, by some possibility the first pair is not good enough. So is this going to be a bet for value? I'd imagine so. 13,000. I mean, it's a nice size bet, you know, it's about two-thirds of the pot, it's, um, it's cheap enough to get cold, isn't it? And, I mean, Bracken calling with the deuce there, <laughs> Park, <laughs> um, <laughs> pretty nice. much, he's sort of saying there, <laughs> he, he wanted to, he, he thought there was a good chance she was just bluffing. I mean, he couldn't beat anything. So good, it's good fun if Flood asked to see that hand. <laughs> I have this sort of enduring memory of Christoph. I, I think it was one year, and he, he lived at the Bellagio for s something like three months, and he used to always walk around in the in a t-shirt and gym shorts with Raised bulging pockets, and he was just having the time of his life. He was like a Us. kid at the circus. He was the Bellagio didn't mind it either. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the biggest suite at the Bellagio for two months, <laughs> played the big cash nice. games every day. He won about a million dollars playing poker. And that's raised under the gun here. It's it's a very deceptive sort of position these days, the under the gun, isn't it? Oh, go on. You're not a bad little girl. Cool. I mean, people think that you should be yeah. have a pretty narrow range there. Well, uh, you've got to be you've got to be very uh, confident to do it. I mean, you've got to be to think you're very lucky, or that you're going to be able to outplay your opponent. But. Uh, 
check. This obviously isn't short on uh, confidence, and why should she be? Liam is the kind of guy who doesn't usually like to peel, in fact, almost never likes to peel off flops, but... No, it's really, Liam is a... Cool. Always operated on the theory that the flop is just the start of a whole bunch of hassle. And what started off as just trying to flop a set has now turned into... You tried to turn a set. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say the expensive exercise of trying to put a net on a hand. Um, <laughs> which is... Um, well, we've seen Paul try that one. It didn't work out too good. Oh, my God. It, it's tougher than it looks. I mean, Liam could stare at that board and think, I beat ace high. And if he bets here, Parg... Well, she's just, 11,000. She's, uh, she's going to think about this because she, she doesn't want to miss a chance to get value for raising, does she? What do you think overall? Could he have a flush here? Well, of course he could. The old check call to keep the, keep the pot low. Oh. Good call. That was straight. I have one, uh, <laughs> he knew it's it. It's time to do the hand rankings bit. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting bet Only by Liam. He was, he was pretty sure he, he was thought he, he was turning his hand into a bluff park. I mean, he felt like. I want to raise the answer. Maybe it was a blocking bet. What pre flop for me? Playing down to one guaranteed seat in the semi, or are they all playing for a second? Check us out on the other side. <laughs> Welcome back to the Party Poker <laughs> European Open 5. We've barely played a level. Um, she's won everything that's not nailed down. Um, and it looks like she's she's starting to she's prepared to pry up the floorboards before we hit the two and four thousand level. God knows what you could find under the floorboards around here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of mysteries could be solved. I think the devilfish may be down yes. there. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, haven't seen, I was wondering. I haven't seen him in a while. Everybody keeps Raised saying, "Oh, he's on holiday." <laughs> Oh, I played him in Paris a couple of weeks ago. I spent day one of the tournament uh, taking the mickey out he of him. He raised to 18,000. Um, day three he won it. And, uh, oh, oh my gosh, Park, what, what are these people on? I mean, and Bracken is completely right here. Rudder's re-raised from the big blind, and Bracken has wasted no time in saying, let's go. That's a four bet with King Ten. <laughs> You're looking for an explanation. You're looking somewhere I'm else. Positive. Well, you've been to Cork. <laughs> uh, there may be a little bit of um, history between these two guys. I think they both played a GUKPT circuit. Pass. Just, My uh, lord. That was gutsy. But, but he had it exactly right. Yeah. I mean... Isn't it usually, Parg, in these sort of games, during these level, the first raise is important, and later on the second raise is important. You never really see a third raise. We've already had a couple four bets tonight. Nobody's had a thing. That's good for the game. Very, very gutsy. I think he's uh, certainly made a statement, hasn't he? He certainly has. Stuart Rudders. I think if you'd ask Stuart Rutter what he put Paul on there, <laughs> it would be likely to be King Ten. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to fall behind behind the count here because they're seeing Annette uh, scooping up chips here and there. Nobody wants to get tailed off. I mean, on the one hand, you kind of would say to yourself, shouldn't Annette just slow down? And on the other hand, she's giving them <laughs> such trouble. I had a conversation with John Tabata boy about um, Australian poker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm on about? Min raising. Min raising. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I forgot what he said it meant. <laughs> he uh, wouldn't know, would he? Nightmare. I think he read it in a book. All oh, right. Okay. All right. You know what? 
Big light down, big light down. That's wow. really interesting. Yeah, it, it well. And that's made it up. You read the sign book? <laughs> It looks like Paul is quite prepared to go to war with Stuart any time he I'll likes. He's, he's he left the net off the dice card at the moment. <laughs> yeah, and she only made it 4,000 park minimum raise. It, well, so well, so, sometimes when people minimum raise, uh, alarm bells start ringing around the place. But the minimum raise is somebody with aces or kings uh, looking to get re-raised. But that's a little okay. bit more... Um, a little bit, a little bit more 20th century. I think <laughs> <laughs> the rules have changed. I also, I, I kind of like Richard's attitude 7, here. 000. I mean, he's going to be much more. He, he does. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Raised to 14,000. Uh, that's why I love watching this guy play. I but mean, I mean, Park, isn't it like you know? Uh, Paul Bracken, he, he's told Annette that he's scared of her. Liam's told Annette that he's not scared of her. And Wheatley said yeah, that. Paul Bracken told Annette that, uh, that he wasn't scared of her, and then he changed his mind. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Liam said he wasn't scared of her. Now he's probably changed his mind. But well, now Richard Wheatley seems thinking, well, you know, she can't have them every time. And, uh, you know, it's one thing thinking it. It's another thing doing it. And it's still a race, isn't it? It is only a min-raise. No, it's uh, about the... What does the min raise the mean now? If I put in 21 saying nothing. You have to bring it to. <laughs> it means I can min raise if you can. Yeah. <laughs> he's if it's he's got game, this Richard Wheatley. He yeah, has yeah, got game. Yeah. But you know, the min raise looks. Uh, it, it looks strong, and at the same time, he's not having to uh, waste a lot of chips right. on it. Now, he can get away if, uh, if Annette really has uh, the kind of hand she's representing. It's just lovely play from Richard Wheatley. <laughs> And Rudder, 52,000. I mean, for you, has, has, he, has he done much wrong? Has he got to change his ways now? Two no. and 4,000? I don't think so. You know, he played Mace 2 a little loose earlier on, but he's quite entitled to do that. And uh, he lost a chunk of chips to uh, Paul Bracken, uh, where Paul made an uh, you know, extraordinary play. <laughs> Wheatley's got a great table image. I mean, everybody's paying attention to Annette and Annette alone. Yes. Well, they'll pay <coughs> attention to Richard before it's all over. I promise you that much. Pass. Pass. Eight thousand title. Pass. Cool. What is Wheatley up to? I mean, this, he's called for, it's, it's, it was just over a min raise, up to 9,000, Parg. I mean, the King Deuce is a tough hand to play in the best of times. Hmm. Okay. And, I mean, it's, if, if Richard check raises here, it'd be a bit tricky. Is, is that 80% uh, next chance of hitting the flop? <laughs> <laughs> You could get into a little bit of trouble here, Richard. I mean, we've seen Richard play. He's he's always more prone to a check raise than to a check call, isn't he? Call. Certainly is. is. Is it in Richard's mind that if she doesn't have anything, she's checking the turn, and if she bets the turn, I can think again? If you think I'm going to start guessing what's going to <laughs> Richard Ridley's mind, <laughs> you must be out of your check. own. Check. Well, you find some... Uh, very adventu adventurous plays. So oh, that's it, the usual two pair. I mean, she's played this really yeah. tricky part because she does have the jack. She did check the turn. And Richard's entitled to think he's winning right now from his point of view. Yeah. And, I mean, Annette will be pretty confident she's ahead, won't she? Two pairs now on the river? W what sort of bet you think... Uh, Well, she's probably hoping that Richard would maybe have a five or something here, or um, maybe a pair under the jacks that he can call with. Just from the way the pot has gone. And then he's got something like five, six or something, and she's just trying to milk. Uh, found a figure that she thinks he can call if he's got something. 
tactics. So. Uh, there's a very good chance he's going to call here with the pair of twos. It's, 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 oh no. It's really tricky what she's done here, Park, isn't it? I mean, it, it looks like now, I mean, it's made to look like a bluff. She somehow sensed that Richard wasn't going to call the turn. Yeah, or maybe that he was either calling it's, it. it's both tricky and a little careful, and that she, yeah. may, be, she may have thought that uh, she may have a kicker. There's an outside chance she had kicker problems with the jack. Okay. It's worked out absolutely perfect. She's uh, she's bet just the right amount on the end to get called. And uh, even more important, she's taken a little bit of wind out of Richard's sails. Which she has. Him. He can now join the club at the table on people who have been... <laughs> sort of taken down in pots by a net. The only one not a member of that club is Kristoff, who, to his credit, has avoided her at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that, that that was a huge pot in terms of this heat, Jesse, and that uh, uh, Annette now has enough chips to uh, to double anybody at the table up, and, and at the very worst, uh, be average. And uh, if there's one player at this <coughs> level of the tournament you don't want to get into that spot, it's... Uh, it's apparently this young lady. That's very true. I don't know if... if, if have you watched Pass. the... This... No. <laughs> Pass. But if you... No. Call my rice. What about... No. <laughs> Check. 8,000. Uh, Wheatley this time running with nothing. And oh. I mean, bottom pair Parag is sort of a. This would be the heat where bottom pair plays the most prominence, I guess. It plays very well, except everybody, except an at the moment. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Just Check. Eighteen thousand. Look at that. Now, is Wheatley trying to sell the idea that he has a queen here, Parg? I think so. Yeah. It's a pretty good story, isn't it? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it, Cole. <laughs> this would now be. This will make. Yep. Call. That's the third time someone has called with basically okay. bottom pair uh -huh. to a bet on the river, no, but, uh, and okay. as you s sooner or later. Sooner or later, third like pair is coming up good. I don't think you have a queen, I think you may have an eight. Yeah, so it's good on the flop. Yeah. yeah, of course. I would think so. I'd be very surprised if you fold a better hand. Twelve thousand. And nice. twelve thousand again. Nice. I mean, um... Nice. This is starting to get very, um, if, if you're the kind of person who has a low boiling point at this table, uh, you know, somebody's going to kick off at some point. All in. Watch no raised, all in. 70. This is the man who was favorite to do it. <laughs> oh, no. And he's getting called. Oh, he got called Oops. very quickly, Parag. Very, very quickly. And, I mean, there is a little bit of Keep history here. It's the third time she's raised Liam's big blind oh. from under the gun. Two live cards. Uh, it's not too bad, then? You know, the, no, it's 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 the whole bad. thing got it's set up in the first level, no. didn't it? Two suits. Certainly did. It's even better. And um, you say, you know, how could Liam have been flop. fooled into re-raising with the United six States, high? Yeah. Well, <laughs> a couple times she <laughs> showed him. fooled into doing it. He was always yeah. going to come up with a re-raise here. I mean, we, yeah. we know that. That's the yeah. way he plays. And he's just, uh, it's a timing problem rather than anything else. But he, he's far from dead here. It's a good flop. Yeah, seven and nine. He yeah. needs. The heart would be nice. He needs to what? catch. The heart would be nice. Yeah, of course. That is... Now well, we need a Well, nothing five. really changes. The five or the six. six. Any, and, uh, any of them. The full six outs. Five. Oh. 
I'll tell you. It would have been exciting to see Liam get a hold of a whole bunch of chips, but nothing seemed to work for him tonight. No, it just wasn't one of his days. I think when Liam looks back at it, it's not his best performance ever, but he's turned up. He's given Where's my tea? He's had a bit of a timing problem when he did make the big move on the net. There's no reason uh, for me to play bad, but there are two lean floods, one that plays good and one that plays bad. The bad lean flood came in today. That's it. Talk about doing it with style, though. I mean, a net overstart. Everything is, do is working for her. If she bluffs, they fold. If she raises, they re-raise when she's got a hand. Um, if if she's got top pair, they got bottom I know pair. Say it, that. <laughs> Van Morrison wrote a song called it. I think it was oh, yeah. days like this. <laughs> Fifty-two takeaway, three. Okay. You ask yourself, what's Christoph's calling range here? I mean, he's likely to be ahead, but he's not likely to be that far ahead. He he would never imagine that there's an under to his over, 20, is there? 30, 40, about an hour ago, I'd have told you that I'd uh, I'd be quite prepared to bet he was going to pass this. You know, on the older, I made a, I made a very far behind her. I mean, a coin flip, but uh, this stuff is playing a different game today from what we've come to expect. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised like if he gets a spin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's not like with aces. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just like that. Yeah, I mean, how do you want to think about yeah, it? I gotta call it? Yeah, I <laughs> well, yeah. And, 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 and I mean, there's a way to think about it. Uh, I'm, it I'm, I'm at some point, I'm going to need to gamble. Don't have uh, another one, it's a and if I do, if this gamble goes <laughs> well, it's going to put me in very good shape. Is that the upside? That could well be what, what he's thinking. He's going to be absolutely delighted uh, to, to find he's in such a good spot. Yeah, I mean, 67% with the two fours is doesn't happen too often. Doesn't happen, doesn't happen often enough. <laughs> if the ace comes... Um, well, obviously, it's going to be a good day for Wheatley. Oh, boy. You wouldn't know by looking at his face that he just spiked that. Christoph is thinking, what is it about these TV events? That's not very good looking condos again. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the two fours for Christoph. He'll still be in, but... Uh, no, it's a little bit like with a net so far ahead. Uh, it's like the pressure's off all the guys yeah. that can uh, sit back and start playing shove poker here. So close. Hit the post. Hit the post. You know, there comes a time when you've you got to play like you've got nothing left to lose, because if you don't, that's, that's what you're going to finish up with. Plenty more European Open 5 action to come. You know it's going to be loud. You know it's going to be fast. Welcome back. Thrilled to be in the box with Irishman Park Parkinson. And always glad to watch these players shooting up cards. Pass. Race to 18,000 total. This is trouble for Rudder. Can he get away from this? <coughs> kind of hard, isn't it hard? I think at this stage it is, yeah. It looks like the scramble is on. He's only got 64, and I mean... Re-raise. Richard Wheatley has, has, has worked long and hard to, total. to be able to get action when he raises with the ace-king. I mean, he deserves it, doesn't he? Well, Pass. He does, but <laughs> Mr. Rudder might think so. He's not having a great day himself. No. He's having, having a nothing day. Okay, all in. All in. All in. Yep. Okay. okay. All in. Yeah, that's all. all. Okay. Ten here could change all that. There is uh, really over 100,000 in here. It's Rudder all in, and Wheatley in charge. Just one of those hands, right, Parig? I mean, if Rudder That's had... exactly yeah. what it is. It's one of those flops as well. It is. Yeah, the jacks in there. Three draws with the jacks and the kings. I play. But Rudder is starting to think, hey, is somebody up there like me? King isn't safe enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, he appreciated that joke. 
think Christoph is working out of a very old joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just a jack or the king. <laughs> There's a reason some of these books go out of date. <laughs> There's no big demand for reprints. And uh, perhaps what comes around goes around. That's uh, that's what might be thinking. That. <laughs> Christoph this gave the chips balance. to Wheatley. He's oh, given them to Rudder. And what will Rudder do with them? The way this is going, give them to Annette, I'd imagine. Pass. No, no. Pass. Raised to was definitely the kind of guy who he can for forgive himself momentary uh, slip-ups in a cash game. Just kind of, you know, rebuy. Well, I think the nice. jokes are going so well for Christoph. He's uh, nice. <laughs> very low to get nice. knocked out here just when he's in a bit of form. He's, yeah. he's on a hat trick. <laughs> wow. Wheatley, I always kept too amused. <laughs> I like Chris. I do. Like so, so do I. <laughs> um... We, Wheatley's re raised all in here, Park. Know, At the end of the nice. day, it was. <laughs> I didn't think uh, it was. Yeah. He had 6,000 in the 26. He, didn't think it so he just didn't feel like giving up the big blind. Nice. That's about the size of it. And, uh, is he due? Oh, he's due, all right, but. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Well, that one. yeah, I would think on the percentages there, everybody, they both got straight draws. Now, the 10's good for Wheatley, the 8's no good. The yeah. five's good, the six is good. It's good, two, three. Um, so I covered everything. Ooh. That's no good. That's a good card. <laughs> That's good yeah. for well, everybody. Do well to get out of this. <laughs> uh, Wheatley drawing dead by the turn there. And that straight Jeez. came straight Jeez. on in, Farg. Yeah. And Collect I mean, he is You're such a fun three, guy right? to watch. He is, yeah. <laughs> King of Diamonds. Oh, oh did you really? Um, well, he got off to quite a good start. He got up to yeah. 150,000 or so, and then just uh, took a view and a hand against Annette and never really recovered from it. Well, as we kind of come to expect, Annette has knocked another player out. Um, Wheatley got very short stack there, Parry. They both got straight draws, and she's the one who hit. Is she unstoppable yet, or still stoppable? Oh, she's very stoppable, I mean. I'm not saying they're going to stop her. I mean, I, I would better not to win the heat at this stage. But I, uh, I think a couple of the lads left here have, 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 are going to develop very strong right arms at some stage. Which is the only way to combat uh, the, the way Annette is playing. Just uh, give her back a bit of her own medicine, I suppose. Cool. Now, why the lint? Is it just switching things up? Cool. I have no idea, Jesse. I'm, I assume that. Uh, He's no got rest. some kind of a no trapping rest. plan. Well, if the king yes. comes... I check. 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 Just the one pair for Annette this time. <laughs> so far. <laughs> it's a tough... A tough enough hand to play against two blinds, isn't it? I mean, obviously... Top pair is easier hand to play than the middle or bottom pair. Or, or indeed, no pair at all. Check. Check. <laughs> but look, look what's happened here, Park. Check. Has Annette made this unduly troublesome for her? Um, I mean, this is a great spot for Paul. 11,000. I mean, we, we, we've seen situations time and time again, Park, where guys limped in in the small blind in this uh, tournament and gotten himself broke. Um, this, for Bracken, cool. is beautiful. Pass. Decided to play it slowly. Is he going to get, is, is he going to bet the river? Is he waiting to see the river? Is he going to check, raise the river? Does he have any idea what he's going to do on the river? Check, check. Have a night. Really? I think he's going to check. Yeah, yes, man. Sick of a jack. I outdrew you. Yeah. On his hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's doing a little thing. No, I, was, I, I would have I would have bet the river if it wasn't an eye. Yeah, me too. I was gonna I was gonna bet if a rag like a rag two comes oh, on well, betting I, out. I would have called. Mm, I don't know. But I was just thinking Parg, I mean, 
Lions five and ten thousand. If if poker players sort of got caps, you know, for for knocking people out of televised tournaments the same way, you know, they did soccer players. I mean, for such a young uh, poker player, twenty years old, I mean, Overstock would be on pace for a whole lot of caps. I mean, she she just knocks everybody out when she plays. Very interesting, Terry Jesse. I'm sure they'll sure it'll come in at some stage. <laughs> we'll, put us, we'll put us to the committee. Thirty thousand times. Oh wow! Uh, speaking of another cap. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, Christoph is just never getting away from the Susie Park, and he shouldn't nice. really, should he? He didn't get away from the four, should he? Didn't need any. It's too good hands. Be blind on blind. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what else is he going to do? Yeah. Well, didn't need any. I'd be a little bit disappointed yeah. to be behind <laughs> here and not being yeah. in a race. I think Christoph's backup I mean, plan may well hit the set. Only hands can't hold up today. They just can't. You should stop pulling like for sixes. It's like sooner or later. I have to get cracked, right? You would think so. <laughs> Christoph likes this line of reasoning. The whole damage will be 98. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh, That's really good. Shut up. up. I really uh, should. Ten would take away part. that danger. Thanks for the yeah. three. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> You had 7-5. <laughs> there oh. she is! <laughs> Talk confident, act confident, yeah. be no, confident. Well, at least you know how many chips to count out. Felt I think it in Christopher's very helpfully said wow. 98 would be the, the whole damage. <laughs> yep. Wow. I can throw every being eight. I think we got a new chip wow. leader. Absolutely. And how about the way he did that? That was under your old theory about uh, just stay there and, and pretend you're ahead, and sooner or later everyone will act surprised. Uh, it all in blue. Uh, it's not working too good. <laughs> Makes my stack look much more impressive. Thanks. Start of something. Pass. How much have you got there? Well, I think there's a look at one card, see how much she has, and then have a look at the other one. <laughs> I mean, if it's better than A7, he's, he's, he's pretty much calling, right? I'd imagine so. Yeah, I think this is an automatic call for Christoph. Oh Going, uh, and that's propensity for the, for the all right, My time to suck out, I think. Yeah, yeah, she's right. To. Um, and I don't know how often the split... It's not too often. That nine plays most of the time, right, Parg? I mean, 86% of the time we're going to have a result, theoretically. Oh, that might feel different. She's due to hit a seven here. Or <laughs> I don't think so. So she can start asking Christoph about the blue chips. Ooh. Well, the flush oh, draw is on tap. Yeah. But the sevens are no good. About the same as it was before the flop, I guess, Bart. Who feels it? Any heart. I think the King Ten of Hearts was passed by uh, Paul in this hand. Wow, what a hand. And it is just a heart. Gotta be there. Not. All right, nice hand. She's done. Thank you. Good luck. Mm, and I mean, I guess it just sh goes to show you how fragile this format is, Park. Well, that's why it's, uh, it's caused so much fun over the years and so much heartbreak. You know, you can uh, play like a champion, dominate a heat, and five king, ten, you get up to 5, 10, 7, oh, 15, <laughs> slap, bang, wallop. I think it was best of you not to see you, wasn't it? Blind. Welcome oh, back oh, to the yeah. European yeah. Open. Yeah. The action has not been what we expected. Then again, it hasn't disappointed. I'm sure Christoph is now thinking, well, uh, as soon as we get one of these lads sorted out and I've got my spot in the turbo, happy days. Always knew I could win one of these. <laughs> There's a... There's Paul. Call. And he's just called. <laughs> 80 volt. Oh, cool. oh, oh wow. wow! Right you are, Park. And uh, well, I think whichever way this went, the money was going to yeah. go all in, Jesse. I'm uh, I mean, it's, ju it's just simply a, a, a cold deck, right? I mean, 
There's no, always extra Rudder would have been making a bad play if he didn't push all in there right before the oh, flop. Of course he would, Jim. Bracken has uh, has got on here. Who's got more chips? I think Bracken. Oh, Bracken's, a bit. Good. Bracken's yeah. got it twice as many. There's the jack. That's halfway there. But halfway is only half. Profound. <laughs> jack and the ace. And uh, I'll tell you what. Paul Bracken is about to be in unbelievable shape here. Unbelievably bad shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I was hoping for a club on the turn because then it, yeah, negates, uh, it negates the jack. I thought we were going to get the eight of clubs on the turn. And uh, wow! Mm. I'll tell you what, we've seen some we've seen some hands go down here tonight, Park. Any consolation to Paul? I mean, that pot was going that pot was going to end up uh, with, 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 uh, in all ends, no matter what way he played. Right. It. Oh yeah, you're doing right. And for Rudder, I mean. Maybe he feels like he's due too. And it, Christoph might want to almost encourage a re raise here. Huh? Oh, yeah. Title, pass. 10 becomes 25. Cool. Wow. I, he keeps doing this, Bart. It, it feels like he's going to get himself into trouble at some point. Maybe he's good at getting out of trouble. Because he's certainly good at getting in it. Well, he should be bank robbing her. Something worth <laughs> worth 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 getting out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Jack. You know, I mean, you think about the the whole politics of the situation here. I mean, the last thousand. thing he wants to do is go out third, and yet he's taken on the chip leader out of position well, from the big blind with I no got, hand. I, I've got a sneaking suspicion he's going to make a move here. Wow. Which would. Explain why he moved away, right. got involved with the ace jack, jack three in the first place. I think, uh, I think Mr. Ru Mr. Rutter was one of these guys who, a bit like um, I'm on the old vampire. Right. Oh my God! Oh. And, and this is a, a huge figure out from Kristoff because yes. um, if you you could sit there if you're Kristoff, couldn't you park and say to yourself, the guy would be absolutely mad to make a move on me without a hand that doesn't beat ace king. Wouldn't you be thinking that? Well, obviously he was. <laughs> Rudder's down to 91,000. I mean, maybe he thought he had well, some chips to play with. 91, 91, yeah. Well, they're both... Uh, maybe, maybe he doesn't like having big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, For Haller, 413,000. <laughs> and it was <laughs> a quick re-raise. Like 20 minutes ago, I was happy to have the starting initial yeah. amount of right. chips. Yeah. Do you often find when somebody says yeah, that then in 20 yeah. minutes they're gonna actually yes. <laughs> they actually would have been happy to have the hundred thousand again? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to cross that line too soon. Well, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit like the old one. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm having a good day. I just play around to my button. <laughs> right. You should call as well. It'd be a good call. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> you can say what you like. <laughs> and Brack Bracken's moved all in. <laughs> and uh, Rudder's called. <laughs> Kristoff wow. basically knows he can fold here, sure. Parg, and be in the That's heads up with 400,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 right he's only anyway. having to crack here. Call right. it's over, baby. I mean, there's yeah, actually... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he he might even have to fold like hand two hand tens hands. here, right? I mean, no? How how big a hand would you fold right now strategically if you're Kristoff? It's 91. God. That's 96. Is that a is that a tough it's a tough it's a weird question? I think I'm not yeah, involved with the jacks luck. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. yeah. So far. Well it's only got a hundred thousand. Oh I'm gonna have five thousand yeah. chips well, left. Maybe you should have yeah. called a lot. Woohoo! Bad big comeback in the century that. Yeah, they've basically oh. just figured out here. Bracken's actually got Seven, chips back, but it's that's only that's one that's chip that's back. Well, the one thing that's, that's going to happen for sure in this pot is that Kristoff is going to be a huge favorite to at least make, yeah. <laughs> make the turbo. It's good for yeah, Rutter. Bracken oh, needs yeah, the I didn't eight or the mm. ten. Seven or jack of diamonds would be nice. 21 cards then. Well, eight or ten wouldn't be too shabby either, would it? Miles. Give him even more. Well done. Uh oh. That's it. That's it. Bracken's going to be down to one chip, drawing dead by the turn he is. Okay. And, uh, I had Ace King when I moved in. 
against you. Sad. You were in good shape. Yeah. That's great consolation. Yeah, you guys had a one <laughs> chip and then a All of a sudden, <laughs> just, uh, blinds are up now. Which kind of it's good news for Bracken. I mean, it's news anyway. But you could actually see Kristoff raising here. Oh, oh that's a surprise. Snap call. <laughs> Snap call. Check. No raise. <laughs> really oh, interested yeah. to see if Renner decides to bluff <laughs> this one. I want to see what his tolerance level is. I mean, maybe he's just no, a nut. No, he didn't have a king anyway. Did you have, you didn't have a king. If he bets check, this one, check. if he bets this one. I've got seven, eight of spades. That'd be nice. <laughs> so I wouldn't mind that hand right now. I haven't looked. <laughs> you haven't looked? No. He hasn't looked. He's going to be yeah. quite happy to find out he's got ace king. Or he would be at this stage. Not now. Oh, God. Seven, eight spades. Nuts. <laughs> he is, he's crazy, Park. He's really crazy. Isn't he? And Christoph knows he may, that... He may have, may have that disease that's known as turbo <laughs> or aversitis. <laughs> oh, I hope you've got a hand this time. I've just got one pair. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe he's just no, trying no. to make Christoph mad. Oh, my goodness. Actually, it's interesting, yeah, obviously, because the king's no good. It's just the ace. Well, then. Yeah. Bracken doesn't seem to feel it. Good luck, mate. It's okay. Thank you. Oh, look at that river. Good luck, yeah. I had seven. Paul Bracken out in third. He's so we've yeah. gotten heads wow. up. Oh. Well, this match hasn't gone exactly yeah, as expected, <laughs> but from a spectating point of view, no less enjoyable. Perhaps the two long shots early now heads up, and on one side... Christoph Haller, uh, he's been wonderful tonight, relaxed, aggressive, and uh, very creative, and now has a chip lead. And on the other side, uh, Looney Tunes can throw out the music. This guy's just plain nuts, Park. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's pretty exciting stuff, Jesse. <laughs> I think most of the straight forecast betters would have turned their dockets up by now, <laughs> quite, quite some time ago when but Liam Flood and Annette uh, crashed out. And for Stewart. <laughs> I think that most of the betting at this stage would be on the results of the dope test. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Rudder, Christoph Haller. Uh, I mean, from what we've seen of them tonight, how do you handicap the heads up? <laughs> All I know is it's going to be pretty exciting because uh, I'm not sure if, if Christoph is familiar with the term nutter. I mean, but he's, he's certainly got the German equivalent going through his head at the moment. Raise to 42,000 total. Too big for either to fold. I mean, 110. Yeah. We raised to 110,000. I mean, we oh, could saved a few for the flop. Cool. We raise all in and a call. It's going to be a race. It is. It yeah. is. A rudder needs it. I mean, two, four, three. Good luck. Oh, 402 in there. It's a it's you a know, big spot. I say good luck to you. None of us means it. That's right. <laughs> 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 the hopes for it. to come. I knew we'd come up with a good one eventually. <laughs> Faith in the lad. This is Christoph Zeller's first ever chance party. Have an idea how much we got? About two twenty, I think. Mm. As it was to about go through the semi-final stages of one of these tournaments. Yeah. Really good spot. Jack. <laughs> oh, Each way. <laughs> Still fifty-fifty. Oh, same I think. chances. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any spade but the nine works for Christoph. Oh, well spotted, Jesse. Ace or the jack would work as well. There's not going to be any counterfeit boards. 27% in the deck for the German. Doesn't want to look. Oh, oh, he hit it, and Christoph has got well through. Okay. Well played. Had a chance, this you know. Cool there, it's Stuart. He'd come it back is. from you 40 or 50,000. Probably a bit of luck. Yeah. It was all on that. It's always a sad moment when there's nobody left to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh, that sad. No, really? I mean, <laughs> 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 yeah. I think uh, not he tomorrow. means that. <laughs> he probably he absolutely does. means it. Action flop, uh, action turn, and that bullet on the river, the red ace. Christoph Haller do and got there. I'll be going back pretty confident for the turbo because I can't play any worse than today. Um, but just hope the luck's on my side uh, to, uh, to win 
this kind of thing you need to play really well and get really lucky I think and I was convinced the net was going to win it I'm sure everyone was she got really unlucky but Christoph uh, played really well and he seems a really good guy so, so I'm glad he won it. Well I was very confident when I came here and it's still the same I mean even more now. <laughs> I, I believe I can win every every one of those uh, formats with anyone in the world against anyone in the world so yeah I will try to gain chips and, and win the final. Who's gonna grab that last semi-final seat when the big C hits town? Six very tough players including a Hendon mobster and a flying fin but they'll all be tied up in Spanish knots before this plague's done.